All opinions expressed in this segment are solely the opinions of the contributors. Okay, folks, we're nearing the end of the show, which means it's time for Ryan's wrap. On tap for the wrap, the Houthis in Yemen and the decision in Washington to redesignate the terrorist organization as a terrorist organization. Quick little backstory on the Houthis, or Houthis, depending on how you want to say it. They are 100% backed by Iran. They came to power in Yemen in 2014 when they overthrew the internationally recognized government there. The Houthis were officially labeled a terrorist organization in 2021 as one of the last acts in office by then-President Donald Trump. Now, there was a lot of pressure from the UN and some other international aid organizations on Trump to not label the Houthis as terrorists. The thinking was, if the Houthis received the label, humanitarian aid into Yemen would drop and innocent people would be further victimized. Say what you want about his politics and some of his other decisions while in office, but in this regard, President Trump was right. Groups designated by the U.S. as foreign terrorist organizations, FTOs, need to meet three basic requirements. They need to be foreign. Check. They need to engage in terrorist acts or retain the capability and intent to do so. Check. And the group's terrorist activity needs to threaten U.S. national security. Another check, so the Houthis definitely meet the U.S. definition of an FTO. But President Biden delisted the Houthis as terrorists a few weeks into office. The hope was the move would lead to a diplomatic resolution with the group. But that was clearly a miscalculation. The Houthis are responsible for dozens of attacks against civilian and U.S. naval ships in the Red Sea. They've also attacked people on land, and those attacks did not start once the war in Gaza broke out, but pretty much the entire time the Houthis have been in power. In fact, back in 2021, a week after Biden said that the Houthis were not terrorists anymore, the Houthis attacked civilians. So obviously, they still met the definition of a foreign terrorist organization and never should have been delisted in the first place. Listen, I grew up with the idea leaders don't beat around the bush and instead call it like they see it. And leaders don't let bullies pick on the weak. By relisting the Houthis as terrorists, the White House is at least using the right terminology again. But they're still letting bullies ply their trade. And that's where we're going to have to leave it for this week, folks. If you have a question or a comment about anything you heard or saw on the show, please reach out to our social media channels. We would certainly love to hear from you. In the meantime, for senior producer Brett Baker, video editor Brian Spencer, and graphics designer Dakota Patillo, I am Ryan Robertson with Weapons and Warfare, signing off. Music